is up guys, Alex here from Tech Labs and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can install normal APK files on your Android Wear device. So in this case I'm going to be using my Moto360 here, which you have probably seen on my previous videos. If you don't, please see them, they are really nice, you'll enjoy them. But we're going off topic. Okay, so <laughs> let's get here. Uh, so little disclaimer before you're doing something, please keep in mind that all of these APKs might not work. Only 20% will work. Yeah, maybe 20% or less, depending on which apps you're installing. So keep this in mind. So let's go to the actual uh, tutorial. So first thing, guys, you have to go to the settings on your wearable device. You go to the settings here, click on settings. Then you have to go to the about and then you search for build number here and you click on the build number several times maybe not not more than 10 times and it's gonna give you a message like this so no need you're already a developer and then you go back and you click on developer options uh, then you scroll down again and you have to enable ADB debugging here and also debug over Bluetooth so confirm and then you enable debug over Bluetooth alright so it's done after you do this it's done you can place your Moto360 or whatever on the dock and leave it for a minute and then you have to have a Android device and for Android device you just have to pair it up with the Moto360 here so we're gonna have to have this app this one here Android Wear you can download it's free from the Play Store you go there and then you go you see here connected so I have it connected already. So I have to I have to go into the settings menu here, settings, and then scroll down, and you have to enable debugging over Bluetooth. All right. So you click on that, and it's gonna give you something like this. So the host should be disconnected and target connected. Target means this watch or any other watch that you have owned. So if it's connected, it's all right. So guys, probably the last thing you need is a app dedicated app which is this one apps to wear i recommend you guys downloading it from the actual play store buying this actually because as you know if you like it uh if you like it please buy it because as you know the developer took like it took so much effort for him to make this app and also so much work as you know yeah basic things guys but please buy it if you like it uh so you go to this app and then you oh okay I'm gonna reload it for a minute okay so I go there and there are a few options like APK install APK uninstaller so you basically click install it obviously and then you can select APK to install and where and you select it we're gonna select here a uh, probably let's see what we get here uh, we can install a game okay a game so it's gonna be installing it's gonna ask you for a root permission so you click OK also click OK on the actual uh, Android Wear device or you can click uh, trust forever doesn't really matter but I click just uh, trust forever it's better for me so as you can see here where device connected successfully that means we have a success and you just wait for three minutes or more so like two megabytes approximately for APK needs three minutes to transfer so it's all right so you can hide this window like this one like this here and it's all right just leave it close to the to the actual watch so after it's done you can see that it's done it, clicking by clicking the menu here the multitasking I mean and then going to the app back and yeah so we can wait right now for it but I'm not sure if we should uh, and after this guys we're not gonna wait because it's gonna take us so much time I think so after this it's gonna say you uh, it's done process is done app is installed and also it's gonna show you on the wearable uh, device the app is installed here yeah somewhere here it should be saying installed and you just go to the your slide load here apps and you just click on that and it's gonna launch probably gonna launch but anyway Anyway guys, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If this tutorial doesn't work for you, you can click this annotation here. This is going to be another video to doing so the same thing, but on the computer. So if this thing doesn't work to you, you can click this link here and it's going to work for you. I think so. Anyway guys, thanks for watching again. Please check out my channel here. Please check out my 
Uh, also Twitter account, we're gonna have there lots of news from technology, really cool stuff that you're gonna enjoy. And also subscribe to my channel not to miss any future videos. Anyway guys, this was Alex with you from Tech Labs, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.